by understanding how each one of these four factors contributes towards breakouts, we can use the science of what drives each of these factors to reverse the process. Does your skin keep breaking out despite trying everything to clear it? Maybe you've tried different diets, skincare, supplements or antibiotics and nothing ever seems to work long term. Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the four factors behind all breakouts and how you can reverse engineer these four factors to clear your skin and prevent future breakouts. But first, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you've already tried that didn't work so you can let all of those things go and get ready for the real blueprint to clearing your acne. Now, this video is going to be different to any other videos you've watched about acne on YouTube so far because I'm actually going to be breaking down for you the science behind acne and these exact four things you need to fix in order to have clear skin and then maintain your clear skin. Not only have I also struggled with severe cystic acne and cleared it naturally using the scientific methods that I found myself through my own research as a scientist, but now as a naturopath and nutritionist, I use the exact knowledge I'm about to share with you every day to help my clients all around the world clear their skin too. If we haven't met yet, I'm Mads and I'm your science-backed naturopath helping you to clear your symptoms and balance your hormones naturally through evidence-based nutrition and lifestyle approaches. If reliable health education is something you'd like more of in your life right now, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the factors behind inflammatory acne in particular, which are those types of acne that become inflamed, red, swollen, and painful, such as papules, pustules, nodules, and cysts. Non-inflammatory acne, on the other hand, includes your less severe blackheads and whiteheads. So if you're experiencing those two, then you will also find my next video really helpful, but keep watching because both inflammatory and non-inflammatory acne are caused by a buildup of oil, dead skin cells, and bacteria in the pores, which is what we are going to be talking about in this video. And PS, for years when I was struggling with cystic pimples on my chin, I refused to call my pimples acne because I didn't think they were severe enough to be diagnosed as acne. But if you're breaking out in any way, shape or form, especially if your breakouts are red, swollen or painful, then that is considered acne and what you're about to learn in this video will definitely apply to you. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments how your breakouts are showing up for you so that I can know to make more videos on clearing that type of acne in particular. Maybe they're only on one part of your face. Maybe they're really deep or cystic. Let me know in the comments. So let's break down each of the four factors behind your breakouts, which are oil, bacteria, skin cell turnover, and for inflammatory acne, the last factor is, of course, inflammation. You may or may not know this, but the proper term for the oil within our pores is called sebum. You may have heard me refer to it as that before, maybe on the podcast. So every one of our pores has a sebaceous gland, which produces the sebum to help keep our skin moisturized and protected. Therefore, sebum is actually really important for the health and hydration of our skin, as well as its defense mechanism. What happens for people with acne prone skin, hormonal imbalances, or non-optimal diet and lifestyle factors is that there is an overproduction of sebum, which is what causes the pores to become clogged. This then traps dead skin cells and dirt inside the pore and provides the perfect environment for bacteria to grow and flourish. This excess sebum can also make the skin more oily and shiny, which can worsen the appearance of acne. Therefore, controlling the overproduction of oil is a crucial step in preventing and treating acne, which we can do naturally. It's also super important to note that using drying products and cleansers to strip the oil away will actually make your body produce more oil. And this is the mistake that most people and dermatologists make. This is because your skin is so dried out that it then freaks out that there's not enough sebum to do its job in moisturizing and protecting you, so it makes more oil to compensate. This is why it is so important the overproduction of sebum is controlled internally, and you're not just using a band-aid approach topically to dry it up, which only further drives that overproduction of oil. I explain this in more depth in this episode of the podcast, so I recommend you go and have a listen to that if you'd like to learn more about the band-aid approach versus the root cause approach to healing. I definitely prefer the root cause approach, which gets down to actually fixing the problem long term instead of just covering it up for the short term, which is often all that the pill, antibiotics, skincare, and some supplements are doing. But this brings us to the second factor behind your acne, which is the acne bacteria. 
So just like us humans are known as Homo sapiens, this is our species name, the bacteria in acne are called Propionum bacterium acnes, or abbreviated is known as P. acne bacteria, which is where acne gets its name from. What you may not know is that we all have bacteria on our skin all of the time, and so it's normal for everyone to have P. acnes, and therefore the presence of P. acnes doesn't necessarily mean that you have acne prone skin. In fact, the bacteria on our skin, also known as our skin's microbiome, which just means community of small organisms, actually serves to help form our skin's defense barrier, just like the sebum. This is why using topical antibacterials for acne and other skin conditions can actually disrupt our healthy balance of bacteria on our skin and lower our skin's natural defenses by causing less favorable or pathogenic species who are more resistant to dominate. This therefore increases our risk of a rebound infection. In fact, the P. acne bacteria only become a problem and cause acne when the overproduction of sebum causes them to become trapped and overpopulate in the pores, causing an infection and triggering an inflammatory response. But before we talk about inflammation, I quickly want to cover the third factor behind your acne, which is your skin cell turnover or the dead skin cells, which are also getting trapped in the pores. So like both of the factors that I've mentioned so far, the shedding of skin cells is a totally normal process that happens every 28 to 30 days as our skin cells replace themselves. However, when the process of cell turnover is disrupted, it can lead to congestion and the clogging of our pores. This occurs when the cells stick together and don't shed correctly or frequently enough. But what most people don't realize is that this process is not all up to our 15 step skincare routine, but it is actually regulated internally with vitamins and minerals playing a crucial role. Therefore, an optimal diet rich in these micronutrients is the most important thing needed for maintaining the health of our skin and supporting optimal skin cell turnover. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to create a video on which vitamins and minerals in particular help improve the integrity of our skin. The last of the four factors at play with all inflammatory acne is of course inflammation. When clogged oil, dead skin cells and bacteria continue to build up within a pore and become too much for that pore to hold, this can cause the pore to rupture, allowing the contents of the clogged pore, including the bacteria, to enter the body and cause an infection. This will then initiate an immune response, which is the body's natural defense mechanism against harmful invaders such as bacteria. The immune system will send white blood cells to the site of where the skin barrier has been broken to fight off bacteria and clear the infection. This immune response then causes inflammation, which is a natural response to the infection and helps the body to heal by increasing blood flow to the area. This is what causes the area to become red, swollen, and sometimes painful. Therefore, like all the rest, inflammation is designed to be helpful, but when it is not resolved and continues to cause further irritation, it can cause the situation to get worse and spread underneath the skin. The great news is that by understanding how each one of these four factors contributes towards breakouts, we can use the science of what drives each of these factors to reverse the process. In other words, we can reduce the amount of oil we produce, we can speed up and improve our skin cell turnover, we can keep the bacteria on our skin in balance and under control, and we can calm the body's immune response and prevent the spread of inflammation under the skin. Remember though that all of these processes are important and have their place, so we want to balance each of these out, not stop them completely, which is exactly what I teach the women how to do inside my Balance Your Hormones program. But for now, I want to start by helping you to reduce your overproduction of oil by sharing with you two specific hormones that are driving that overproduction of oil within your body and therefore causing your acne to keep on coming back. I'm covering this in the free masterclass I'm running and I'll also be teaching you the four steps to balancing these hormones which are the exact steps I used myself to clear my skin all those years ago and still use today to help my clients clear their skin too. So if you'd like to keep learning step-by-step step the science of how to reverse your acne without it coming back by keeping these two hormones in check, then I highly recommend saving a seat to my next free 90-minute masterclass by clicking the link in the description below to find a session that works for you. 
But until then, don't forget to subscribe to keep learning more about clearing your symptoms. If you found this video helpful, then please click the like button to tell YouTube to show this video to others who are struggling too. And I think you will really enjoy this video next while you wait for the next session to my Hormone Balancing Masterclass. I look forward to chatting with you down in the comments and I am sending you so much love on your acne clearing journey.